can see by the title of this week's video, I will be going over what I ate this past week. I initially wanted this video to incorporate all of the snacks and foods that I eat in a given day throughout the week, but I quickly realized that that was not possible. So forgive me if this video is a bit scrambled, but I hope you all enjoy. Feel free to give a like, subscribe to see more content in the future, and let's get into the video. It's Monday. I haven't really eaten much all day. I just got out of class and walked back to my apartment. I had a Nutrigrain like strawberry bar for breakfast and some Starbucks coffee that I bought about a week ago. So that was good. Now I have a lot to do today. I have to clean my room up and edit um, the video that's already been uploaded, hopefully by now. Um, so I'm just going to make my classic uh, frozen wontons. And yeah! So unfortunately on Monday I forgot to film after having lunch, but I ended up having dinner later that night with my boyfriend Cole. We ended up eating during his break on Monday at work and right after my last class of the day at around 5.30 and ended up having leftover pizza from the night before that I had made. Anyways, let's get on to Tuesday where I made homemade guacamole for the first time. I'm about to eat nachos! What do you think? It's really good. <laughs> Okay, I think that my camera just ran out of battery, or not battery, I think my SD card ran out of memory space or whatever because I've been filming all day as I said. Anyways, here we are. Late today I ate a Nutri-Grain bar, that was good for breakfast. I woke up about 10 minutes before I had to leave for class so I was rushing. Just grabbed a bar, ate on my way to school, to class whatnot. Then for lunch after I finished filming everything today which was around probably 2.30 I made myself some cheese salamis and crackers um, to munch on while I called my mom so that was good. And then for dinner today Cole my boyfriend is actually coming down and he is going to make me pasta for dinner which is really nice. He knows that I had a really really busy day and I'm super tired so he thought it would be nice for him to cook for me. So thank you Cole. Tomorrow I will be going out to Costco and hopefully to Target to go on a little grocery shopping trip. I plan on filming a little haul while I go on that and um, I am making creme brulee tomorrow so that's really exciting. See you guys then. Hey you guys! So remember yesterday or I guess the clip you just saw when I said I was going to go to Costco, maybe Target, be productive. Well, alas, as you can see, that has not happened. I accidentally slept in until like 12.30 this afternoon. Yikes. Anyways, long story short, tomorrow I am holding a little pizza party and I'm having some friends over. I'm going to make homemade pizza. We're going to have some garlic bread. It's going to be great. And I'm also planning on making some creme brulee. Now, to save my future self and my sanity tomorrow when prepping for the party, I decided that I should make the creme brulee today, this afternoon, on Thursday, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So I got this torch on Amazon. Um, it's pretty sick. It also has a safety nozzle, so you have to like pull that out. It's basically like childproof, which is helpful because I don't want to burn down the building. But I'm really excited because every other time that I made creme brulee before, I have done kind of a hack technique of burning the sauce in a pot and then dripping it on top of the creme brulee and that way it hardens to a shell. But it doesn't have that same look, that same texture 
that I really wanted. And after you guys saw in my last video that I sadly broke my blender, I was like, look, this is the time to get a new kitchen tool. So, 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 so. <laughs> oh my God. So I decided to finally cave and get a kitchen torch, which I'm very, very excited to use. Now to demonstrate, you, I know you can't see, but let's pretend you can. You pull this thing and then you release the gas. There you go. And then you press this and you use the nozzle to get like that. I'll try and get a close-up shot so you guys can share in the joy that I have with this torch. Anyways, enough talking. Let me get into making this creme brulee because I'm sure it'll take quite a bit of time. if this video is like all over the place um, I was originally intending it to be full packed of almost every single thing that I ate every day but I came to the conclusion very quickly that that is just unrealistic well today is Monday September 20th um, and I'm gonna make some banana chocolate chip muffins and I wanted to bring you guys along Banana chocolate chip muffins have been one of my favorites ever since I was a little kid. One of my close friends growing up, her dad made the most jumbo, like, Texas-sized muffins, and they were so delicious. So, they're a favorite of mine. And if you've never had banana chocolate chip muffins or never have had a reason to make them, they're a great way to use up um, some really old bananas. So some of the ingredients that you will need are one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, three fourths cup of sugar, one cup of mashed bananas, which is about three, one large egg at room temperature, a half cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, some chocolate chips, and I also use pan cooking spray instead of muffin tins when I make mine to help with the batter not tearing the muffin apart, I don't know. Okay, oh, I'm just gonna film from this perspective, um, maybe chat with you guys, I don't know. We'll see, we'll try this out. I really need a new tripod right now because um, the lens on my camera that I have right now filming this video is pretty heavy. It's too big for my little rinky dink um, tripod. Also, random, but look how pretty these flowers are. Are you kidding me? I got these at Fry's um, here in Phoenix and I was impressed with myself, so I thought I'd share. Okay. Time to get baking. I already preheated the oven at 375 degrees, so that's good. It's getting it ready, nice and warmed up. Now I have to add the flour, baking soda, salt in a small bowl, and stir in chocolate chips. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this thing. I need to be better at making like a more concise filming and editing schedule because that'll probably help me not get as stressed out as I have been, not that I've been stressed. This has been fun this time around. I have time, enough time on my schedule where it's conceivable for me to, you know, put time into this, which I'm really happy about, so that's good. Oh no, the AC went on. No! I need to just turn the fan off or something. <laughs> 
I'm just going to wait till the AC is done and then I'll continue talking because as I'm sure I will find out while editing this, the AC is extremely loud, especially when the fan is like right above me. So our thermostat has not been working for the past two days. Oh, yay! Our thermostat has not been working for the past few days and it was like really hot. It got up to 81 in our apartment. Last night I was trying and fiddling with it one more time before I went to bed and I ended up just ripping the whole thing out of the wall and then I just kind of pressed down on like the circuits and stuff, put it back in and it works. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I guess it's just really finicky, but that's good. But the downside of that is now um, the AC is working, which is good, but it's really loud, so it's not great for filming, so I apologize. Basically is what I'm getting at too, is I apologize. Now we're at the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna be changing to this bowl, which is proper bowl. Uh, I should, I'm gonna clean it out real quick. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my air conditioning. 2020 was obviously a very hard year and I pretty much stayed inside like the entire semester. Um, didn't go anywhere, didn't really do much. I only hung out with my boyfriend Cole, which if you haven't seen Cole, he was in my first video, which I'll link right here. Um, so you can see him. This year, coming back in the fall, I was actually really looking forward to coming back and seeing some of my old friends that have come back um, to school, having a new roommate, tons to look forward to, and meeting new people, which has been great. I had a pizza party, as you saw. I made homemade pizza, and I made creme brulee. Um, I was gonna make garlic bread, but that failed. <laughs> Can't have everything. Usually I'm way more precise about this, but, ah, oh, frick. <laughs> but filming a YouTube video, I'm like, I kind of want to multitask. Well, I invited my roommate Madeline, some of her friends, because I had been really wanting to meet up with them, um, get to know some of them, you know. So her friends came over and we ate pizza, we laughed, we played Cards Against Humanity, which was fun. I haven't played that in forever. And yeah, it was really great. Um, I assume they really liked the food. They definitely said they did, so that's that's also a win. But yeah, this semester's been going really well. And um, you know, the pizza night was just one of really many great um, nights that I've been having as of late. Bananas, duh, <laughs> I almost forgot bananas. This is definitely my favorite part. I love peeling the nasty bananas. Ew, they're literally mush. But. That's what makes them extra sweet. I did recently find out that you can um, put them in the oven, like on a baking sheet, and it'll like make them all black on the outside. It's not exactly the same, but could work if you're in a pinch. Yeah, if you guys like um, these cooking videos, I might try to continue making some. Maybe like a, a seasonal thing, you know, so that it's relevant. Not sure. I do want to make more content uh, based on my journalism degree that I'm trying to get. <laughs> I'm trying to think of content ideas that I think people would actually be interested in. Like maybe uh, interviewing my fellow peers who do a lot more or way more involved than I am currently. Um, maybe that would be interesting or taking you guys along with me on like a videography project or something like that. I don't know. Just talking out loud while I peel this banana. Hi there. Hello. Thank you. Well, our AC is fixed. <laughs> like, completely. That's good. Damon's just stopped by. I don't know if you saw. But our AC is fully functioning, so that's great. My roommate, Madeline, uh, her room has our water heater in it, which has been smelling like less than great. And so I also had them check on that because it's been like over 12 days since she put in a service request. So they did, and he informed me that he'll send some guys up hopefully by today, which would be amazing if not by tomorrow to check on our plumbing and fix that up, which is awesome. All right guys, I'm gonna add them to the oven. 
now and eat them. I'll show you what the results are with a quick pan. But thanks for, um, I guess, listening. Yeah, it's been great.